Hello everybody. Uh, today you're going to be doing the angle of insulation lab. Uh, with this lab you're basically going to look at how uh, the angle in which light strikes earth can actually affect the, the energy that it's bringing to earth. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk through on how to do this. Again, remember this is not a substitute for the directions. This will help you out so when you watch this and then read the directions, the directions should hopefully make sense. So that's the whole focus of this video. So watch closely and then remember, read the directions for the lab. So here we go. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to pick up um, a piece of paper. Um, you can actually get two pieces of uh, paper, graph paper, and uh, basically that and then you're going to have a flashlight. Now this flashlight, it's going to have a little stick attached to it. Do not break this stick. Uh, this took a lot of time to go through and put these individual sticks on every flashlight. And also turn off the flashlight when you are not using it. Uh, it should be off when you're not using it because, again, uh, batteries cost a lot of money, so we need to make sure that we're reserving our resources. Now, for the first one, it says that you need to write uh, 90 degrees at the top of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead, and again, I'm doing this upside down, so I'm going to do 90 degrees. Okay, so there you go. You have 90 degrees written on the paper. Okay, then you need to actually set it to 90 degrees. So if you have your compass, you can go ahead and you can set it at 90 degrees. So notice how I put it um, straight up and down. Okay, and then we can turn the light on. Okay, now with the light on, you can actually go through. And I know there's a lot of glare here, but I'm actually going to outline the circle in which I see the light okay and if you have a partner you should have a partner it'll make it a lot easier okay and once I turn the light off I have my circle okay and now you're just gonna go around and you're gonna count the number of squares okay and I'm actually even gonna count part squares and I'll just say they're a full square so I'm gonna say one two three I'll just mark it here so we have one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so then I'm going to write 15 um, squares. There we go. So we have 15 squares. Now I am going to flip it to the other side. Let me get a new piece here. Okay. So for the second piece, uh, again, your, your graph paper is going to look a little bit different than this. Uh, we're going to do 22 degrees. Those are 22 degrees. <clears throat> then using the compass, I'm going to set it at approximately uh, 22 degrees. So there we go. This looks pretty close. I'm going to turn it on, and this time you're going to see a different shape. So again, I'm going to outline the shape that I see. So notice I turned the light off when I'm done with it, and this is approximately what I saw. So again, now I'm going to count the X's. Okay, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so on, so on. You're going to end up counting. Okay, and then basically you're going to end up uh, you're going to write that number down. I'm just going to use X for here because I'm not going to finish this. Um, you will finish this. Make sure that you do that and then just go ahead and complete the worksheet. Uh, you'll end up calculating the approximate um, uh, strength of the light for each square. Essentially, then you'll answer some questions. Okay. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher. Thank you.